Ancient artifacts are found on the daily. Some of these objects are incredible and meaningful discoveries, while others fall short in historical significance. Join us on a journey through amazing found ancient artifacts. Hey guys, it's American Eye. Let's get into this video right now. Number 9. Hammer of Thor Yes, we know, Thor is a hero based on Norse mythology and recently the Marvel Universe. But did you know that an artifact resembling his hammer was found in Denmark in 2014? This one isn't quite so big. It's known as the Torshammer and is an intricate piece of jewelry found in the Viking world. In fact, thousands of tiny Torshammers have been found since the first millennia CE. Researchers and archaeologists are unsure whether these small amulets are representations of the famed mythological hero's weapons or not. But this new find points to the thought that they are. The discovery made in Kobolev dates back to the 10th century and is inscribed Hammer X. This translates to, this is a hammer. This is fascinating to researchers because it points to the thought that literacy might have been widespread among craftsmen and women alike. Number 8. The King of Stonehenge Dagger some gold-encrusted bling was found near the ancient monument of Stonehenge, approximately half a mile away in what's known as today Bush Barrow. This dagger was incredibly intricate and ornate. It's believed that these pieces are the crown jewels of the King of Stonehenge, and they include jewelry, a gold lozenge, and an extremely well-adorned dagger. The dagger is decorated with nearly 140,000 gold studs that are tiny, a third of a millimeter wide, and were made from itty-bitty gold wires that are barely thicker than a strain of hair. The wire was flattened out on one end to create a stud head and then cut with sharp flint or obsidian razor. The process had been repeated tens of thousands of times and then the tiny gold pieces were fitted into thousands of little holes that were then punched into the handle of the dagger and the entire process is thought to have taken 2,500 hours to complete. Oh yeah, it's believed that the craftsmen slash women would have been children seen as the pieces were so small and in reality only children or short-sighted adults could have possibly achieved the design. Number 7. Settling in the Americas more than a decade ago, a sinkhole was found 30 miles southeast of Tallahassee, Florida that contained an ancient stone knife and a biface, which is a stone that has been sharpened on both sides. Researcher Mike Waters says that the sinkhole and artifacts were politely ignored because the evidence showed that humans would have been in the area 14,400 years ago. This is a timeline when most experts thought that would be impossible. But in May of 2016, a newspaper was released with better evidence than the earlier research, placing humans in the southwestern United States some 14,550 years ago. The sinkhole that the artifacts were found in is roughly 200 feet wide and would have had a shallow pond at the bottom in ancient times. This would have provided the perfect place for animals to gather and drink fresh water. It also would have been the ideal place for hunters to find a meal as hunting the animals would have been similar to shooting fish in a barrel. Previous research puts the presence of humans in the area around 1,500 years after the date given by the knife and the biface, so these finds are significant and will help rewrite history as we know it. Number 6. Aztec Sunstone Housed in the National Anthropology Museum in Mexico City, this massive stone is noted by many as the most famous work of the Aztec sculptures. Just after the Spanish conquest, this colossal sculpture was buried in the main square of Mexico City, known as Zocalo, and wasn't discovered again until December 17, 1790. The stone was found as repairs were being made in the Mexico City Cathedral and was quickly mounted for display on an exterior wall of the building. It remained on the wall of the cathedral until 1885. It's believed that this was carved between 1502 and 1521, but many think it could have been much older than that. It is 11.75 feet in diameter, 3.22 feet thick, and weighs around 24 tons. The purpose of the giant stone disc remains unclear, although there have been many theories as to what it may represent throughout the years, including some kind of calendar or possibly a religious ceremonial basin. The sunstone is depicted on some older versions of the Mexican 20 peso gold coin, and those coins were valued around $600 in October of 2015. It is also used in tons of folk art and has come to be a symbol of cultural identity for many Mexican and Mexican-American people. Number 5. Antikythera Extras The ancient shipwreck that yielded the Antikythera mechanism apparently has some other ancient hidden secrets to be found. Between September 4th and September 20th, 2017, Greece's Division of Underwater Antiquities excavated the site and found pieces of marble statues, a sarcophagus lid, bronze limbs, and a bizarre and mysterious bronze disc. In 2006, 
the Antikythera mechanism was located in the shipwreck and shocked scientists as it was found to be an ancient Greek analog computer used for calendar and astrological purposes. Statues, which seemed to suggest they were modeled after philosophers, excited the archaeologists that were part of the team. But what really caught their interest was the bronze disc. It's punctuated with holes and decorated with an engraving of a bull, and it's unknown whether or not the disc is merely there for decoration or is an instrument of some kind. It resembles the Antikythera mechanism and may very well prove to be another exciting technological discovery, but only time will tell. This shipwreck certainly keeps getting more and more interesting and keeps giving researchers more and more to study to learn about our past. Number 4. Dead Sea Scrolls Initially found by a couple of Bedouin shepherds in 1946, the Dead Sea Scrolls have been called one of the most important discoveries in human history. They were first located in the Qumran Caves, and they consist of manuscripts pieced together from sites all across the Judean Desert, none found very far away from the Dead Sea itself. Most pieces have been damaged by natural causes or human interference and only hold small scraps of text. Some larger manuscripts have been found well preserved and nearly intact and they contain everything from biblical text, writings about the apocalyptic events, ancient wisdom, and beyond. Since their discovery, they've been studied by scholars and scientists alike and have been translated and published in many different languages for all to examine. Number 3. The Berlin Gold Hat This is the best preserved conical golden hat from the Bronze Age. It dates back to 1000 BC. A few were found in Germany and one in France. It appears to be from some type of strange astronomical cult. Researchers closely studied the hat, and then they realized that the hat possessed highly complex mathematical predictions that calculate the cycles of the sun and the moon. The whole thing seems to act as some type of strange calendar. This definitely suggests a high level of intelligence greater than we imagined for people at this time. Some believe that the thin sheet of gold it's made of, and the conical shape, would be able to pick up some type of communication signal. With its bizarre shape and precise calculations, it seems to be pointing at some type of contact made with extraterrestrials, possibly. Number 2. Noah's Ark Although unconfirmed as of yet, researchers and Ark investigators believe that they may have found evidence of the final resting place of Noah's Ark. Traces of a wooden sculpture have been found on Mount Ararat in Agri, Turkey, a place where, according to Genesis, the Ark landed on the 150th day of the Great Flood. Professor Paul Esperante, an American researcher, was one of 108 scientists from around the world that spoke at the International Symposium of Mount Ararat and Noah's Ark. He stated that he intends to prove that the Ark landed where the wooden structure was found at, and this is is, in fact, the great remains of a great ship built by Noah. Other scientists, however, are not so convinced that the location is where the Ark ended up. Dr. Andrew Snelling provided that the volcano, known as Mount Ararat, didn't form until after the ocean waters had retreated from the area, or until after the remnants of the Great Flood would have been long gone. Claims of Noah's Ark being found on the same mountain have been made in the past, including from a team who believe they found it in 2010. But their findings were not widely accepted, nor were they confirmed. As of right now, investigators are incredibly hopeful that they finally uncovered the evidence of an ancient mystery. But who knows if the final resting place of Noah's most significant accomplishment will ever be known. And number one, the Tomb of Jesus. Believed to be the Tomb of Jesus by many, an elaborate shrine located inside the Church of the Holy Sepulchre may be the place where the remains of the most infamous religious figures rest. The tomb was opened in 2016, and they found a limestone burial bed consisting with religious tradition. It's believed the body of Jesus lies post-crucifixion and pre-resurrection. Scientists monks and priests also viewed this site, taking pictures and collecting samples for nearly 60 hours before reinforcing and sealing the tomb. In 2017, test results on the mortar at the site came back that dated back around 300 years after Jesus died, consistent with the thought that ancient Romans built a shrine over the tomb to protect it. The shrine was restored and in March of 2017, it was unveiled to the public. Thousands continue to flock daily. Big discovery, y'all. Hey guys, if you liked that video, you won't believe what we found on the black market. Go ahead and check this video out right now.